Greetings fellow guitar travellers, it's Raymond J Parker back with Mr... Chris Cunningham. Hello, and welcome to Lick Wars episode 8. Now, unfortunately, because we don't have a DeLorean-esque time machine, we can't jump forward uh, a mere two years to find out what the title of episode 8 might actually be. So, it's Lick Wars episode 8. It's the something something something. As yet untitled. <laughs> the something something something. I like that, so let's go with that. Episode 8, the something something something. Or we might call it Seth Happens. Oh, go for painful. That. Seth Happens, I like that, so maybe we'll go with that. Right, okay, so, uh, welcome to Lick Wars. What's going to happen here is, format of Lick Wars, as you probably know by now, is that I'm going to play Chris a lick and he's going to attempt to play it, well of course he'll succeed in playing it and then Chris is going to show me one of his much more awesome and interesting musical licks and I will fail to play it that's how it goes and in the meantime we'll uh, show you guys out there how to play the licks to fuel your lick vocabulary I, the word I like is guitarsonal guitarsonal you will, you will augment your guitarsonal <sighs> I can barely wait I'm so excited I just can't hide it. I'm, ready. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. So, let's rock! Behold the power of my leg! My goodness me, right, that was a leg. Fantastically right. simple. So how are we actually going to play this? Well, I'm going to give you the little tab, right? Okay. Okay, it's, it's a grand total of four notes. Wow. Big wow. Whoa. Big wow, big Chris. All right. <laughs> So we've got G12 yep. with the third finger, and then B10 with the first finger, and then B13 with the pinky, and then back to B10. Yep. Right, so it's that four note like it's this one. Alright, so yeah. everyone can play those four notes really easy, right? but the mechanic is really in the right hand, not so much the left hand. So what I'm doing is, it's a little sweet picking mechanic, I'm going down, down, up, pull off. That mechanic. Remember, it's a sweep. Um, so not two, yeah. not, oh, two, okay, right, okay. not two separately articulated down strokes. A little, a little yeah. sweep it. There we go. That's it. Right now, how quick can you get it? Not very. <laughs> not very quick. Yeah. So the idea about this is that, that conventionally the way you play that, like you would go down, up, down, pull off. It'd be almost like alternate picking. Down, up, down, pull off. Right. But obviously then you're sort of having to reverse the, the picking stroke. So yeah, yeah. what's the fastest you can play that? Like, well, for me, that would probably about. Yeah. That's conventional alternate picking, right? But if you introduce a little sweepy thing, then of course you're going to cut out a lot of the right hand motion. So then you can go. <laughs> and it's so quick you can barely hear it sounding like a 16th. It sounds quite like as well. Tickly, it's the mm. floor is so really quick, you know? Yeah. And you play our pages like that as well. If you get any of these little triadic chestnuts, this sort of thing. Exactly the same thing. You can go. Well, it's like just so, so quick, isn't it? Like yeah. A blur. A big incoherent blur. <laughs> Much like most of my play. <laughs> Gonna make that joke. <laughs> I just to get their head here. All right, so I think I think that's my lick. I was just like in a low rent, but that's my lick. Cool. All right, so I think you should go next. <laughs> All right, some hybrid goodness going on there, I believe. Yeah. So hybridized. Hybridized. So the uh, play it slow first. So that's like all fifths then, isn't it? Yeah, it's like right. stacked chords. Okay, well give us the verbal tab then. Alright, so it's D, D5, uh, D5, G7, yeah. B6, E8. Right, but that's the, actually the basic thing that repeats, is it not? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a one shape. Yeah, so it's like one thing, one shape we're going to move around, alright. Yeah. So, um, yeah, digitation then? Uh, it's one, three, two, four. Yeah. And then right hand. And right yeah. hand is uh, pick, and then middle, pick, middle. So, like that, pick, middle, pick, middle. All right, so that, that's the only slightly tricky thing because you're having to move the flexion over. Yeah. You're right, yeah. Um, I don't think I could play it any other way though. Picking up. Oh. Oh. 
tough with the yeah. cross picking. If you want to go hardcore with this lick, then you try it with alternate picking yeah. because they're really good for your cross picking. But I mean, I know where you're going to play it's quick with yeah. hybrid. You know, so I have a cross picking. It's going to be. It's really tough though. It's good, really great alternative picking exercise, but tough. But with hybrid, I get you do a lot quicker. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Totally so, what, you, what you can get it with hybrid? <laughs> I'm not hitting all of that. It's yes. <laughs> I'm not hitting quite all of that. It's that stuff. Yeah, so. Alright, so all of these things are obviously, you know. It's all practice with me, all possible with practice. So how are you moving the thing around? So you're playing it like a fret five, right? Yeah, like fifth position first. And then seventh position. Yeah. And then twelfth position up. Alright, let's see if we do a little harmony there. If I play if I play my leg down at position five, you can play yours at twelve and we'll see what the harmony sounds like. Yeah. And we can hold it together. Let's see. So ready, steady, ready, play. <laughs> Simple stuff. I should say it's in D minor. Yeah. 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 All the licks today have been D minor. For no reason in particular. I know. Well, it's the saddest of all keys, let's remember yeah. that. Saddest of all keys. D minor, how lines intertwining. <laughs> <laughs> D minor, saddest of all keys. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Late Minor yeah. Pump. Yeah. Yeah. Go. go and watch Spinal Tap. All right, well, that'll do it for yet another episode of Lick Wars. Till the next time, till episode nine. Which is directed by Colin Trevororo Trevororo, mm. you know the guy at the Jurassic World. Mm. Uh, no one mm. can actually say his name. No. It's Colin Trevororo. Not with that accent. Trevororo. Anyway. <laughs> Trevororo. 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 Tomorrow. I don't know. Anyway, till next time. Farewell.